We go to wherever there's a tsunami or a, or a hurricane or an earthquake. And the reason we do is because, yes, one thing is we do have some answers because after a, a disaster, they're looking for shelter, water, and sanitation. We have it. We do it. That's our job. No country in recent history has needed more help than Haiti. 2010's catastrophic earthquake left over 300,000 dead and up to a million homeless. Uh, these people have been through uh, just horrors that you know most of most of us can't even imagine. It makes you just have instant respect for these people that have been through this. Within months, Team Earthship rounded up 40 Haitians, ages 4 to 50, to pitch in and help construct a 120-square-foot self-sustaining home that could be built for $4,000. So the, the building, just the construction of it, it was cleaning up the streets. We used 10,000 plastic bottles. We used about close to 100 tires. And you take the two and you create a wall that can withstand uh, an earthquake. It's resistant of hurricanes due to the dome shape. The Haitians really built the building with us just kind of massaging it and directing it. They're just really motivated to uh, make their country better. I don't really know exactly, guys, if you really, really understand that huge favor that you give us. You teach people how to build an airship like my own water, my own electricity, my own food. It's like this is all we need and then now we can share it. We have taken a very proud and light people and we, I think this is a perfect formula for making a shot heard around the world. Reality vision. It's like a dream turned into reality. I have to hold back tears, seeing all that we've done. My objective is to change hate. If I have to die before I see it, I will work for the next generation. I love you guys. I love Earthship. And this is Allison, your navigation advisor. Where can OnStar take you today? 210 West Rim Road. There are other examples of eco-housing and towels besides Earthships. Let's go check some out. There are houses made out of straw. There's even a house with a living roof. And ones with different types of solar heating, besides standard panels. So you can see behind me is the Trom wall. So it's the wall oriented to the south, and then the sun pours through the glass, and the heat that gets trapped in there probably gets up to 150 degrees. So it just traps enough heat in that mass that it can store enough heat to heat the house all night long. Eccentric yet ingenious. Yeah, they look like they were dropped from outer space. But there's nothing alien about this construction. Imagine a home that provides its own food, energy, and water. And you've discovered the Earthships of Taos. We have found this way, and it works, and it's very secure. You've got your water, you've got your shelter, you've got your energy, you've got your food. You've got heating and cooling. It is working. Little kids out here are a blast. They go into schools and the teachers say, you can always tell the kids who live in earthships because they go around and they shut off the lights when they leave the classrooms. And they're always telling people, don't leave the water on. They're totally attuned. So you know, get these little guys doing that and the planet might not be in such trouble.